Taunt. We saw that high taunt. <laughs> <laughs> and Furious Libre definitely living up to his name. And yet, I definitely understand why um, we saw the Sylveon before just to get rid of. Wait. Actually, he doesn't have Sylveon now. He has Cresselia instead. Pikachu Libre might be a little difficult. Yeah, this character has a lot of intricacies that you have to. Uh, honestly, you kind of have to know. I do see Beamer trying to make use of this grab. It has been working out for him sometimes, but a lot of times getting punished. Uh, like right there. Over. Hello, all of my Libre children. Yo! And welcome! This video is long overdue. Um, I wanted to talk about this super cool technique with Pikachu Libre. Um, essentially, you're going to be throwing this punch out a lot as Libre. And what I've been doing uh, depends on how the opponent reacts. If the opponent, if my opponent's going to block it, what I might do is get a free enhancement right there, plus I'm positive. I can jump out of the way or do whatever before she can react to that. So if she blocks an attack string and uh, you don't think she'll expect it, you get a free enhancement, which makes, of course, your moves a lot stronger. <laughs> and if she ends up not blocking this, you have the option. Um, what I used to do is just this. That's a really bad combo right there. It's going to leave breaks in with 418. You could time it a little better and leave her at 410 plus a negative speed, which is way better. And that works on most Pokemon. Or you could decide to get a free enhancement off of this. And just go right into that. And by the way, that last kick pierces most counters. So that's something to look into. So if she doesn't block it, sometimes I'll just go into this anyway. And the cool thing about that move connecting is there's a technique that I wanted to discuss. I do a down kick here. And it's not going to connect, but it eats up some frames. And if I buffer a full charge counter during that, it lands on a really funny frame where if she blocks, because this is a full charge counter, I'm positive here. I can attack before she's really out of block stun. She can't really react to what I want to do. I could at least jump out of the way. But if she does anything other than block, let's say she attacks. On stand-up, she's going to attack here. It's going to beat that option. On stand-up, if she goes to grab, to super effective the counter, because of the frames that you're buffering, it beats the grab. If she decides to counter-attack, full charge counter always beats half-charged, so you're going to beat that. So what you'll want to do is have a combo ready, because you're going to be beating her options often. And you're enhanced now, so I would just do this. And that's a lot of damage. Like, just for starting the match off. <laughs> um, so the best case scenario for Breakson is either to use a one frame invulnerability support like Umbreon, in Fennekin, and Ninetales, or to block it. Blocking's her best option here, as far as I know. And that's where the mix-up comes in. Like, if she blocks it, you're positive, so you got a free enhancement. Like, you're good. But the mix-up here is that. It's a frozen hit there. If you time that right, it's going to be block. If she goes to grab, it's faster. It's a frozen hit there. If she goes to counter, it's going to be super effective. and a frozen hit. And if she goes to attack, if you time it fast enough, if you're good at counterattack dash canceling, it's neutral. Which means you don't get punched, she just breaks the grab. If you time it too late, you're gonna get punched. Like that. But if you time it uh, fast enough, you end up being neutral. It's really hard to time that. But this is the mix-up if you don't see an attack coming. And uh, worst case scenario, you uh, you do get punched, but if you time it right, worst case scenario, nothing happens. So I've been using this a lot 
It's one of my go-to things that I've been doing. And the only thing that i found that beats it is Shadow Mewtwo's Vortex one frame and vulnerability supports and Lucario's up A counter. I think that has some weird priority. Even though this is a full charge counter, I've been knocked out of it with Lucario. So what I do, uh, what I suggest doing is when you, when you start attacking or whatever and you're, you're playing a game, if you get this punch off, what I suggest is going into this. Just to get the enhancement off and to try this right off the bat. See what kind of combo you can get. And if she does end up blocking it, you can go into that anyway, get the free enhancement, and then decide what you want to do with your life. You would have landed a grab there. You can go for the mix-up right away. I wouldn't go for the mix-up right away. I would I would go for the mix-up maybe after you've done this two or three times. A lot, it hits a lot of people fall for that. So that's that's the main thing I wanted to talk about, the up X. Um, I don't know how Mewtwo's Psy Strike deals with it. I'm going to find out right now. We're going to have to change phases here. That works. So if I get this, and he goes to Psy Strike right now, So it does seem like full charge counter beats Psy Strike. And here's a cool thing, if he's blocking it, change phases. If when I do the up X, he stops blocking and goes to Psy Strike immediately after the first kick, I think it hits a little too fast. Yep. If, uh, if he blocks the Y attack, and I do the long combo into it and he decides to Psy Strike, it will hit me. So that's something to watch out for. <laughs> and if he chooses Lucario, I do want to make sure this is uh, this is accurate with Lucario. Let's play with FB on. <laughs> okay. So what Bolomar did is... Up A is it, right? Up A? Okay. So if he gets hit with the up XX and then on wake up, he goes for the up A. Even though my counter's full charged, we'll beat it there. Let's try that again. Okay, here's... My timing might have been off a little. Let me try that one more time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the timing a little slower. Okay, so your timing has to be perfect to get to get Lucario, but it will hit on Lucario. Yeah. One frame invulnerability. <laughs> <laughs> One frame invulnerability moves easily beat that. You yeah, to my face. <laughs> sure you can. That's it. That's all that I can think of. So, use this, abuse it. Notes limitations, always be enhanced, and get a move that beats all options. Oh, also I didn't mention it beats jump. So it beats several options out there. Definitely use it to your advantage. Well, that's the video, my furious children. So till next time. You can't get me. Come on, right in. Like he's got, he's got so dialed in with that spread perfectly by Fury. And that is gonna do it right here with the stunner. Emphatic finish.